What's up everybody, it's Mobility Matt with the Martin Mindset and today we're going to be going through a nice little leg workout. I'm modifying my original workout to um, for everyone. So it's going to be a lot of single leg movements. So if you want to gain mass in the legs, this is perfect for you. So we're going to hop right into it. We're going to start off with the single leg squat. So now I'm going to be doing modifications. So we're going to be stepping here, right? 50 of these, 25 on each side. Notice how I'm stepping to the heel. This knee, my bad. Notice how I'm stepping to this heel, right? And then this heel is not coming off the ground. Switch here with the 10 on each side, and then 5 at the end. Of course, remember, stack your hips, elongate the spine, squeeze the glutes and hamstrings. Posture is very important. If you need to go a little bit further, you can go a little bit further. I'm just working on all the modifications for everyone. And then five on each side. Then you're gonna take a break. Anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute, you wanna take a break. That was about 50 reps right there. Um, so I work out in a, in a uh, what's it called? I work out fasted. I forgot the other word I was looking for. But I work out fasted so that whatever I had the day before, say I played some bullshit the day before, then I, uh, <laughs> then I, um, I can work that off. I wake up, drink some water, Come down, train some clients. Uh, maybe afterwards. Usually the sun is out, but you know it's not always sunny in Miami. Most of the time, though. How you doing? Doing you know, pretty good. So, all right, we're gonna get back into the next one. So now we're gonna be here with it. You could either put your big toe here, but keep all the weight on the front and come down, or you can just tap the knee. You don't need to go that far. If you can only go like to here, that's completely fine. But I'm going all the way down for the first half at least. And then the second half, I'll get into uh, halfway. is also going to work on your balance and coordination. So if you don't have any balance or coordination, this is going to let you know. And more on each side, and then go to the fives.
back here over into the sun. Last five, I'll do it halfway. So over here. It'd be a lot easier if we do it on a flat surface. I'm not. It makes it more difficult, which actually I like more. I don't know if that was five, but I'm gonna just do another one. Also, if you ever lose a, I take that minute break, 30 seconds to a minute. If you ever um, lose track of which, how many reps you're at, just dial it back to whatever the lower number is that you know you did, and then keep going. You gotta be responsible enough to know what rep you're at. If not, you gotta do more, or just, you know, just dial it back. All right, next up, that was 100 reps. I got real quick a little bit. Side lunge. So you want to keep most of the weight on this leg. You could even come up on a big toe if need be, which you're probably gonna do that anyway. side get up on that big toe make sure this heel doesn't come up as well trace that knee over in between the uh, the big toe and the first toe Back to the other side. Now the sun is out. We let it. Take a break, 30 seconds to a minute. By now, you should be feeling something. I'm just starting to feel it now. I'm only sweating because the sun is out. I don't really mean shit. We're gonna do uh, curtsy lunges, I mean curtsy squats to end off. So you see, you don't really need that much time to, uh, to work out. You just need to know what you're doing, how to do it, and work the most efficient way you possibly can. That's all you need. You don't need an hour in the gym. You don't need hours in the gym. Some people just like doing that. Me personally, I just like doing that. 
I enjoy the pain because I always tell people and my clients, if you can't get through an hour of pain with me, how are you gonna get through situations in life where, say, you're a single parent and you only have enough money to give your kids lunch money? So you give them that money, you're gonna probably get some toast and drink water, go to work, and do whatever you need to do. When they come home, you're not gonna complain to them. You're gonna make them dinner and you're gonna smile and be happy and you're gonna be the adult that you needed as a kid for your kids. So always remember that. All these, all these workouts, it's just a, a quiz for the test in life. God damn, I got mad sweat in my eyes. It's just a quiz for the test in life, so remember that. Whatever rep you go through when it's painful, always think of that. Whether you have kids or not, whether you plan on having kids, whether maybe your nieces, nephews, your younger siblings, sisters, brothers, whatever the case is. All right, let's get right into these. So here, I keep all the weight in the front, tap the knee, notice how I'm stepping back at a, like a 45 degree angle, other side, if you can't go down all the way that's fine. Go as far as you can with no pain. Drive through that front heel. So make sure you open your toes as well. You don't want to grip the ground. I would advise you to not wear shoes so you can actually feel your feet. I believe I got 10 more on this side and then we get into the fives. And this is as fast as you should go. If anything, you should be going slower than this. side. Last five. See? That was easy. That was light work. Alright? So, if you didn't get through all those reps, that's completely fine. Just make sure you build up to be able to do that much. That was about, what, like 12 minutes? Nice little workout in 12 minutes. So you can't say that you don't have enough time to work out. You can literally put this video on. And also, if you want to burn calories, you want to get abs, you want to work the legs. You want to work the largest uh, muscle groups in the body, which would be the legs. Really, the glutes, but it, it coincides. Especially with those, helps work the glutes. And when you target certain areas, like what we were doing, and then you leaning more toward on one side of the legs. I hear a lot of people on YouTube talking about, oh, I can't gain mass, or you can't gain mass uh, doing body weight, legs, and standing third. So I'm gonna prove y'all wrong, all of them. I'm actually probably gonna do a series with uh, with bands, and uh, I'm definitely gonna be doing sled pulls though, so I don't know if that's cheating or not, but because that's something that I wanna use to help build up my knee strength, so is that. But uh, do me a favor, comment what you guys want to see below, what quick workouts you want to see like this. Next time, I'm going to do the something very similar, but it's going to be time under tension because, you know, time under tension is what I do. Um, make sure you share this with somebody that's in disbelief of being able to, one, do a workout, a leg workout at least, in 15 minutes, and two, to be able to do uh, uh body weight workout where you can gain mass so i appreciate y'all make sure you like comment subscribe peace and blessings until next time